be worth it. Okay, so I want to tell you the story first. So humor me. Items for sale. And let's go to my solds. So you can see all the fire and light that I've sold in the last eight weeks, about $800 worth. Okay, here's the one I just sold yesterday, and I've got it down here to show you, show it closer to you guys. I had four of these. They sold from $78 to $60. This was the last one. I had four of these little jewelry caches, and you can see how little they are. I can't see chat, you guys, so let's do this. So I had four of them. Hang on, I'm going to find the other one. Um, I need to do a sold video because here's some other things you guys need to know about. I've had some great sales, you guys. It's been awesome. Okay, so let me find the rest of these. Because I, I only listed them one at a time because I wanted to do auction. This is one of the rare times when I felt like it was really good to do auction because I these the sell-through rate is just incredible on these, so no problem. So that was one. Let's see. We need to talk about that sometime too. There's one, and there should be one more in here. There it is. The first one went for 89. Okay, this is what started it off. This one right here. So let's look at it. Okay, this is the one that started it off. I found it at the thrift store. And I'm like, okay, it's a chunk of glass, but you know, okay, honestly, I love art glass. And to me, it wasn't the most epic, but it was heavy. I put it in the cart and then later I'm like cleaning up my cart of what I'm not going to actually have. And so I'm like, I put it on the shelf and I pick it back up. I put it down I pick it back up. Like something in here just would not let me let it go. And um, so one more time, I picked it up and I turned around toward the door and I saw the etching, fire and light. Let me get it for you guys. You can see I'm holding it with my Dr. Lori white gloves. So you can see, <laughs> you can uh, see the size, not very big. There it is. Okay. I'm going to zoom in for those of you that might be on the phone. See, it's just a little etching and not everything has etching. I went, oh my gosh. I think I've heard about this. One of my viewers was talking about recycled glass. And so I was so excited. I put it in the cart. Okay. So that's what kicked it off. And so when I got home, um, this is a good story, you guys. So let me back up. Cause then when I, so that sold, I put it on auction. I started it at like 180, I believe. And it went up to 246. So that was about eight weeks ago. That's what kicked it off. Yeah, Dr. Lori White Gloves. Um, and so while I'm researching, I'm like, whoa. So while I'm researching, like I do, I'm, I want to know everything this company makes now. I want it to be in my head, right? So while I'm researching, I run across a picture of this. And I'm like, what? Wait a minute. I have four of those. Like I've had four of those little jewelry. I didn't know what they were. I, I got them from the dish department. Like, this is before I even met my husband. So it must have, I said six years, but it must have been more like 10 years. We've been together eight. And I just had him with my poker stuff. My, you know, I like to play poker and I was going to have some, um, you know, home games with the girls. And I wanted some cool glass dishes for serving. They were just stuck in with my poker supplies. And so I got them out and very carefully checked them over. Let's pull one up. Found out they're called jewelry caches. there checked it over really well these are not signed and they come in all different colors and i had four of them and i'm like whoa and so i listed them one by one so 79 dollars, and the very last one sold for 60 it's down here again these need to go out but i i wanted to save it so we could um Look at the texture because a lot of people are DMing me or messaging me like, is this fire and light? Is this fire and light? And I'm like, well, it's close, you know, it's close. But so it's kind of hard to tell from some of the pictures on the Internet unless you really study it. So I'm going to show you some pieces up close. So I have sold about eight pieces because then from saturating my brain every night for like over a week, I... um. I was at the antique mall. Let's roll up to it. Oh, I've had some great sales, you guys. We need to talk about, we need to talk about some of these great sales. 
I'll do that later when I figure out what is wrong with YouTube. Anyways, let me scroll up and find it. Yeah, I had some great sales I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so there's the other one. There it is. Okay, so let's look at this. I found this. It was just sitting on top of the shelf with some other art glass that she had priced appropriately. And she only wanted $3 for that. Whew, I could not grab that fast enough. Get on my phone and double check. Yes, I'm good to go. Another fire and light piece. Not marked. And so I started it at 160. That was about the going selling rate was is about 180 for these puka. They call them little puka bowls. And I think there's two designs. This is the heart one. So let's look at it. Not very big. Let me show you with my hand. Okay, you guys see? Like, look at those warble marks and the, like, looks like dirty bubbles. Like, it'd be so easy to be like, I don't know where this came from. Big Lots, Dollar Tree. But there is something about it when you hold it. There is a little something about it. But it's, you know, a lot of us are used to look looking for a high-end glass. Mm, wait a minute. A lot of us are used to looking for, like, um vintage glass and stuff like Murano and stuff like that. You know, we kind of know kind of what we're doing there. And so this is, can be a little perplexing. So that one is here. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm so happy about $3 into 180 little, almost six inch and they call it Puka bowl. Now in a minute, we're going to go look at pictures of See, this is what we're going to see when we go look at pictures. This is what people love about it. And I'm not sure how they did that. But when you set a table with this stuff and you have the proper lighting, it looks incredible. This here, you can go get on the Internet. And this is a chart of their colors and the color names. You'll see there's not really a clear. The closest one to clear is this Twilight. Um, the twilight and it's kind of like a really pale light aqua blue okay all right so let me show you this and then we'll go pull up let me show you these and then we'll go pull up some sites that i have saved i think i can shut this one down oh i can't wait to do a sold video you guys are some really hot i've made this has been my best eight weeks in two years Okay, can I close this? Yes, I'm good on that. Okay, so let's, let me go down here and go back to this. Ooh, okay, you guys promise you still can't see that square thing. Okay, here we go. So, I this is a jewelry cache. So you can verify it by this base. And they've used this base on a couple other pieces I've noticed. We'll see it. But let me come in. Okay, do you see that? texture is that good you guys can you see that kind of like uh, bathroom window kind of texture not as bumpy though okay and sometimes it'll be more smooth on the inside though but i want you guys to really look at that get that texture okay because there are other types of recycled glass okay so it's that texture hi carrie I can see some of you now. Jennifer, Sarah Kay, Sharon, Posh Planet, Carrie, Thelma Thrift. Hi, Thelma. Let's see. Can we take a minute to talk about the necklace? <laughs> Thelma loves her jewelry. And that's one of my go-to girls to learn jewelry that I'm all up here. I'm getting ready to bust out. Yeah, this is a thrift store find. Isn't this fun for summer? I adore it. Thank you. It's just a little thrift store find, Thelma. I'll give you dibs on it if I ever get tired of it. You look so lovely in all your jewelry. You're inspiring me. Okay, Beth, Sherry, Nurse, 72, Nurse J-Lo, 72, Charlotte, Miss Sunny. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry, Jennifer. Um, okay, so, yeah, I, I saved the sticker on this. See, $3. Okay, so now this one is more smooth on the back and then kind of that warbly in the front let me get this to really focus you guys and you'll see like wrinkly marks and you'll be like what kind of a reject piece of glass is this so don't let that bother you okay gosh i hope this is coming through because i cannot tell see this kind of wrinkly 
So don't let that bother you, okay? Other than that, it feels good. Other than that, it feels good. So they do make something for the bathroom. We'll see it. They make like a little, well, you could use any, you can do what you want with it. Hi, Jojo Mama. Hi, Dave Diggs. Um, you can do what you want with it. And like they choose to call this a jewelry cache. This is a puka bowl. I'm not even sure what puka means, but um, there's a couple different patterns. Okay, so these need to go out. 60 bucks for my last one and 180 for the puka bowl. These I don't even remember I've had for so long. So made about $380 on them. And this was $3. So now I'm out. Those were my eight pieces, but I am on the hunt. Okay, so now let's go look at some stuff. Hey, just, just for the heck of it, because there are other companies that do recycled glass. That's pretty awesome too. You don't get quite as much money, but there's some money to be made. And I sold, I picked one up. Hang on. This is going out today too. This is up here is all stuff I sold that's going out. So you see how that has that kind of that texture, right? So I picked it up being like, I don't want to miss a fire and light just because I don't think I've seen a star yet. So I, I picked it up, but this turned out to be something. I think I sold it for, I already closed my thing. I think I sold this for $28. It's from Spain. Darn it, I'd have to go back and look. But okay, so a couple bucks. It's beautiful too. And then we know cobalt glass is like cobalt glass sometimes just because it's cobalt glass, right? So this really isn't um, very vintage. And again, I think it's made in Spain, but it's beautiful too, right? So that's why I say I'm okay to sell the modern glass too. So um, I don't know. It's, I don't know if this is recycled glass though. But there are some other recycled glass companies. Let me put this up. And let me put these where they're safe. There are some other glass companies. Recycled glass companies, though, you guys. Okay, so now this is freaking me out that it's still there just spinning. Like, just spinning. All right, I'm going to split screen again. And let me get... Bear with me, because... YouTube is acting very persnickety today. So now if I want to do this, I want Chrome up. Let's pull them up. Fire and light. There we go. I want that. Sorry, you guys. I got to cover you up again, okay? Okay. I got to cover you guys up so I won't be able to see you, your chat. So let's get this up. Okay, let's, their website is back up. It was down. I've been posting that it was down. And uh, it seems to be back up. So that's cool. Um, and they talked to us about, you know, thank you. They had to go out of business. This is really good. So when you go to Google Fire and Light Recycle Glass, you might have to look for this one. They used WordPress, okay? So not really like a web website. But um, it was the McClurge. Is that how you would say that? At McClurge, John, and Natalie, and the entire team at Fire and Light. Oh, my gosh. And so this is a great website where they talk about some of the places that they, that they went to. They are from Arcata. Arca Arcata, California, which is in Humboldt County. So if that kind of, if you know what I mean by Humboldt County, then um, that gives you a little insight into the possible mindset of, you know, recycling and artisan glass and things like that. So um, there you go. So please um, go look at this one and teach yourself stuff. It was like a blog website. So there's random things, but it's on there glass like there's a butternut squash but it's on one of their plates okay so let me pull up oh look here you can see some of the crew hand poured so this is really fun go go find that site and bookmark it okay oh that's so fun okay and let's close this one and look at another one which one did i want to look at i want to look at this one first 
Okay. Let me scroll. I was reading. Financial woes force fire and light to shut its doors. I'm reading for those of you who are on a phone and can't really see this very well. So, and there's a picture of their studio and some of their stuff set out. So you might enjoy reading about that. It was an award-winning company that started in 95. Some people say 96, depending. But, you know, with financial issues, they're saying the Great Recession. I'm not sure about that. Um, they eventually had to close their doors. So at one point, more than a thousand stores carried fire and light glassware. Oh, my gosh. Um, but it says rising over overhead costs, dwindling markets, supply chain comp complications, blah, blah, blah. But they took recycled glass. And um, I think that's so cool. And that's why they won some awards, too, for that effort as well. So it says they recycled over 9 million bottles and jars and turned what was once thrown in the garbage into beautiful glassware that now adorns tables around the country. I mean, it was... It, the prices that we are reselling it for, that resale prices are getting right now, you'll see in a minute, it wasn't that expensive to buy when it was operating, okay? You'll see that here in a minute. So this one is from was from Time Standards. So that's an interesting article with some cute pictures, okay? Let's see. I don't want to do that one yet. This one pops up a lot. It pops up first, usually. But don't be fooled by these prices. These were prices when they were, it was in production. They were one of the people that carried it. Guess what? Like, I got all excited going, what? I'm going to go buy all these. No, they don't have any left. I don't know why they're leaving this up like that or don't put sold out. But use this because you can see pictures. Okay, see, so you can see pictures in detail. There's Some of them are a little grainy. So... Things have names. Like, look, there's a little puka bowl that I sold. Originally, you could pick it up for about 20 bucks. There's the other, whoops, there's the other pattern. Um, and so now, 180. No more is going to be made. I guess people who really loved it or have some money, you know, now they're wanting to keep their sets complete or expand on them because it's not coming back. Let me see what this looks like. That's not a bad picture there. That's not a bad picture. Uh, when you blow it up, it gets grainy. But you can see the example of the beautiful light. Now, these little tumblers are somewhat thick walled and they have what like the bottom is. We'll see in another in another picture is somewhat like um, little tiny chunks of glass. OK, like uh, ice cubes in the bottom. OK. All right. So do you look at these pictures as well. These were the. Retail prices previously, um, but you can see here they're sold out on everything. And this is funny, you guys. This is the closest pattern we have is this. Look at this for a minute. This is the, I'm like, what are you talking about? That ain't even close. <laughs> what are you talking about? That looks more like that uh, princess line from Anchor Hawking or whoever it was, right? But Okay. We'll give you props for trying to sell us something. So um, Home Bella, okay, Home Bella, which it'll pop up when you Google Fire and Light Recycle Glass. So there's a good place to go look for pictures. Um, it pops up first for me. So there's a lot of places here that you can go look. I really liked this one too. Now this one, see, they sold it too, but now they're saying, they're saying sold out. All of this is sold out. But there you can see a lot of stock photos that must have been approved by Fire and Light because Home Bello used them too. Oh, I want to tell you this. See this right here, this Aurora vase? So last night, so there's a buzz over on Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Ladies group because, um, let me back up and tell you why. Okay. The Antique Nomad George and Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady. Those are my pretty... I don't want to make anybody upset, but they moved pretty high up on my list of people that I'm watching right now because I'm trying to expand my knowledge of vintage and antiques. So, and they're fun and, you know, they've become cyber friends of mine. So when I found out about this a few weeks ago, I sent them both a little private message 
saying, hey, you guys, I'm hoping I can pay it forward and show you something really cool that you might find on your adventures. Um, antiques and vintage are their main groove, right? And this is like 95 to 2019. So maybe some of it technically could squeak under vintage, but it really shouldn't. So um, George had heard of it, but he hadn't found any yet. And Jocelyn hadn't really heard of it because, you know, vintage is her groove. Um, and she, she has a fire under her butt to find some. So anyways, she's mentioned it a couple of times on her YouTube and gave me credit for it. That's so sweet of her. Thank you. And so someone in her group last night found one of these vases for $6. And I think the last one that sold that wasn't an ombre or a two-tone was about 500 bucks. You, you can see it on eBay and we'll go look at that too. Um, original price was 90. So there's a big thread going on about that too. So yeah, people are, are on the lookout for it. So anyways, this is a great site here to kind of look at some things too. Okay. And again, those were original prices. Okay. Let's talk about these goblets. Cause I learned something new on these. There are some people that are selling the bases, the thinner top goblet part Fire and Light did not make. They bought them from someone else. They just made the chunkier base. And it still shows off that good light. But they bought the thinner goblet part from someone else and put them together. And they break easier because they're thinner. And so you can actually even get money by selling the bases. <laughs> so I, I know. I saw some on, sold on eBay when I looked. So anyways, Sat, sat the Gallery? So please bookmark that one too. That's a good one. And now one of my favorites is um, they're, they still have their page on Facebook. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoops. That's private chat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they still have. And I went ahead and liked the page. I must be logged in. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. And so what I do here is go through and look at their pictures. This is from Fire and Light, and of course it hasn't been updated for a while, but you'd want to look at all these pictures, right? That's what I'm doing because I'm never going to miss, oh boy, look at that. I'm never going to miss, oh, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to miss a piece of Fire and Light. This was one of their displays with that um, brushed aluminum. Okay, you guys, so... Hey, thank you. So, oh, look at that. I'm going to have to keep some that I find. I'm kind of obsessed with it now. So I'm, I'm on a hunt to get some, and I'll probably keep a small little setting just for my husband and I. I'm just obsessed with it. There's that, um, what do they call that? Oh, we missed it. It's called, it has a name. But someone just found it over on Old Things and Thrifters. Jocelyn Crazy Link Ladies group. He's so excited. He's torn like, oh, do I sell it or do I, you know, keep it? Because he could probably pick up 500 bucks pretty darn easy. So, oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. Okay. Um, th now this one here, see the two-tone? That will bring, uh, the last one sold for about 700, I saw. So those bring more money and they're more rare. I want to skip to a couple of things because there. Now, there are a few pieces where they mixed the glass colors, but not very often, okay? There are a few pieces, so you'll want to know that, too. Some of the paperweights. Oh, I'd love to have one of those. It has the same bottom as the jewelry cachet. Wait a minute. I'm trying to find a picture. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm all about color. I, I, my family did stained glass, and I'm artistic temperament. I'm all about color. So I'm trying to find there, there's one, like the heart paperweights. Every once in a while, you'll see a little mixture of color, but not very often. Those will really bring some good money too, okay? What is going on? You guys really. Okay, you guys, so I've given you enough information. I've given you enough information, right? Let me go pull up. Let me switch to eBay. Let's do one more thing. 
I'm still doing this. I want to know every piece they make. All right. So here's what we have. Let me check the chat real quick. Hi, Cindy. Go to Audrey A. My daughter's here. Lisa, <laughs> are you going to add these under the info of the video by chance? Oh, okay. okay I'll try to do that. Ninja Mom Life. Yeah, I should do that for you guys, right? I'll do that when I'm done. Okay. So these are active. And here you can see one that's a little bit um, mixed colors, but typically no. But let's go to Solds. And okay, let's look at Solds real quick, you guys. This is what I'm doing. Because like these glasses, just like, it'd be real easy to go, oh, that's that Mexican glass, you know, or that's a cheap glass from somewhere, but no. And then here's the, the on the rock glass. Let's see if they show a good picture of the inside, okay? And you'll see what I'm talking about. That one sort of does. Okay, see how it looks like it has, it's molded in there. It looks like it has like little chunks of, you know, ice. Okay. Yes. I do not want to see this stuff go into the landfills. Oh my gosh. If it ends up at the thrift stores and, you know, we don't catch it, you guys. But look at these great prices. So just go through and know what everything is. I'm trying. Oh, there's the soap dish. $64. There's a couple of unique pieces I saw in here. Let's see what we have here. Some people do great at photographing and really showing off what it is. But look at these prices. So just one of the a regular cup, 40, 50 bucks. The soap dish, 40, 50 bucks. Why was this one? 32 bids, 495 rare grape. Huh. A rare color, I guess. Okay, let me scroll. Oh, and I want now if I find one of these, yeah, I'm not selling one of these. This has that vintage swung glass base, right? Let's get down to it. Where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> yeah, if I find one of these, this is going to be not for sale. Oh, my gosh. So, see, we might easily go like, oh, someone tried to make a vintage swung vase, and that just went really wrong because <laughs> it looks like it's got dirt in it. It's got crazy little bubbles, and it's got, like, weird little striations. We'd be like, what went wrong here? This is a student project. <laughs> But now, get it. <laughs> All right, you guys, you get the drift, right, of how to do this. So let's get back. I'm so excited. Oh, there's one of mine again. That was my last one. These are all relative. These are just like a couple of days ago. All right, let's stop this. Go back to just that. Let's see. Now I can read the chat. Let me get the chat so I can read it and talk to you guys for a minute. And I'll show you those pieces again if you want me to. Oh. Oh, my God. I just shut myself down. Sorry. I closed Logitech. Sorry about that. Okay. Duh. All right. So let's, I'll show you these one more time. And then you might want to also do like I'm doing and let's teach ourselves about what other recycled glass companies are there. So here's my last jewelry cache. Look, a random bubble. You see the texture on the outside. Just a slight warbly, right? But it's smooth on the inside. Okay. A little bit, somewhat of a thick wall. And some pieces have thicker walls. And the base on most items, like the vases and the jewelry caches, are going to be a little more, you know, unique. 
not like a polished pont tool or anything. These are hand poured into molds, I believe, with the exception of those crazy vases. So don't quote me on everything. But like, see, the puka bowls, they don't have any kind of special pedestal base or anything. So, but it does sit proper. They do, the, they do have it to where it sits proper though, okay? So I'll come in one more time on this. That's not helping. And you'll see like look, crazy dry rations. Let me get it right. Let me find a good one. There, there. See, crazy striations that make you think like, hey, this is a reject. So, all right, you guys, what do you think? Sorry we got off to a rough start. I don't know why YouTube's being a brat this morning. Oh, you, and I, that was a nice word, brat, for how I feel about YouTube this morning. Because I've been so excited. I wanted to do this yesterday, but I just didn't feel well. And plus, I waited too late, and it's... um. George the Antique Nomad, I have to watch his premieres all the time. So let's, let me go chat with you guys for a minute. Okay. Whew. You're such a hot tickety bottle. <laughs> no. Girl, I'm old enough to be your grandma probably. Oh, I did dress up for you guys a little bit today. Yeah, I did. And I was going to see if my daughter, she's in here, if she, I told her yesterday I didn't really want to go out today, but if she wants to go thrifting, I'm, I'll go with her. Yeah. And I just, you know, it's about time I start wearing some of this thrifted jewelry. Most of it's over there to sell, but I've been keeping some pieces for myself. And this is just awesome. This was like $3 or something. I love this. I love this. And this is a cheap, cold shoulder thrift store top. I don't hardly buy anything new except for like maybe bras and underwear and maybe a good pair of, you know, boots or shoes. But when it comes to other stuff, you know, you just find everything you need at the thrift store eventually, seriously. So, and I'm really into, um, you know, let's try to, we don't need to make a bunch more stuff and we certainly don't need to have a bunch of made in China crap in our house. So, oh, I see something. Yeah, sometimes Blanco can look similar too. Yeah, because if you saw my live, was it two days ago? I went live and finally did the haul video for like an hour and a half. Um, is it up here? No, it's still downstairs. But I pulled out two pieces that I said, oh, this is kind of recycled glass looking. Let me make sure. Because Firelight bakes something similar to that shape. It was like a kidney bean shape. They're, it's still downstairs. And then just in my thrift with me, someone said, hey, I think those are Blancos. And that's what they are, Blancos. So going to make a little bit of money. Yeah, it's got that similar finish to some Blanco stuff. You're right, Sharon. Yeah, do you know what? I don't know how old you are this and that. I'm first wave Gen X. We did this in the... When did we do this? In the 90s, we did the cold shoulder. Everything just kind of gets, you know how it is, but then with a little slight updated twist. So um, I really wasn't loving to do this again, but they kind of made a little bit of a twist on it, and it sure does feel good in the summer. Another thing we did around that time frame was um, real low backs, like real low cutout backs. <laughs> yes, I'm saying you remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're either first wave Gen X or leaning toward baby boomer. Clothes recycle too, yeah. The, my shorts are from the thrift store, my top. <laughs> so, and my my little jewelry, so this jewelry. Franken oh, the padded. Yeah, that's probably we don't need to bring that back, but we might because they're going to kind of lean into the 80s and 90s and so that dynasty those dynasty suits and stuff that we don't need to do those <laughs> shoulders again, but it might, it might. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm a tall girl. I, I cut that. I would cut those out. That's just crazy. All right, you guys, does anybody have any questions? Um, anybody new to reselling? Otherwise, I think I better get that stuff shipped because it should have went out yesterday, but I wanted to save it to show it to you guys. So 
Miss Sunny, are there any knockoffs out there? I don't know. As far as fire and light, I don't know. A lot of their little trinket stuffs will be signed, but not so much like their paperweights and some of the bases, but and some of the glasses. But it doesn't look like they signed very much of the table setting, like the plates and stuff. They certainly didn't sign the little puka bowl. So let's see. Oh, yay. A lot of people older. I love that. And there's some young people in here too, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry we got off to a rough start. I will um, get this loaded up. I hope it loads up properly. I hope it does. And um, then so after I do shipping, y'all, let me do my shipping. Then I'll get those. Um, I'll put some links in a comment. Okay. So you guys can bookmark them too. Come on now. Let's get on this and let's save all of it that we can find. You'll either make money or you'll just enjoy it yourself. But we need to save it. That was a great concept, right? Recycled glass. The prices weren't crazy, were they? They weren't crazy. It's just that I never heard of it. And I don't know how, like over in California, I don't know how many stores out this way, you know. See, I'm in Colorado. I don't know how many of it made it, you know. I'm sure it made it to the East Coast, but I don't know about Midwest in between, you know, to sell that. They said it was carried in over a thousand stores. So, all right, y'all. I will talk to you later and um, appreciate you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Hannah, text me. Do you want to go do something? Bye-bye. Ending stream. <laughs> I said ending stream, YouTube. Oh, my gosh, you're being such a brat today. Seriously. I don't know if we've ended. <laughs> it's like it just won't. Whatever. YouTube, you're cray cray today. I'll just like shut you down. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know. I guess I'll just <laughs> now I'm just laughing because I'm like, seriously, YouTube? Now it's just still loading in the end stream, no matter how many times I click it, nothing. <laughs> All right, you guys. For real, I'm just gonna like shut the window down. I love y'all. Goodbye. <laughs>